Hi Grade Fours, Mrs Alexander was telling me that you guys wanted to test your water bottles over the weekend to see how well they work, but you might not have thermometers at home. But that's okay, because what I'm going to show you is how you can actually turn your bottle into its own thermometer. Alright, so what you've got is your bottle, like this. I'm not going to draw the container around the outside, but basically you've got your 600ml bottle and you need to put liquid inside, water. Now I suggest to make this easier, you use coloured water. So just get some food colouring and put that into the bottle. Don't fill it all the way up, alright? So you've got your water in there like that, and then you need to make an airtight plug in the top of the bottle here. So don't put the lid on, get some plasticine or blue tack. It's got to be airtight, so cotton wool won't do. Plasticine or blue tack is great. But when you put the plug in, you'll want to have an ordinary drinking straw going down into the liquid. All right, and then the plug sits there like that. All right, then you've got your other bottle without a container around it, and the same sort of deal. So straw, plug, liquid inside, like that. So one bottle with the container, one bottle without the container. Now, here's the interesting thing. Thermometers are basically just a way of measuring heat by seeing how much liquid expands. Anything will expand when it gets hotter, including the liquid in these bottles. But we've got an airtight plug at the top here. So this water is going to want to push up into that space, but it can't because the air is taking up space and it can't get out. That means that the only way the liquid can expand is up the tube. And the higher up the tube it goes, the more it's expanding, the hotter it is. So you might have one bottle where the liquid comes up about this much. But in the other bottle, if it's heating up more, then the liquid might actually come all the way up the tube and start running out of the bottle. That means that this liquid is expanding more, which means that this liquid is hotter than this liquid. There you go, homemade thermometers. Thanks, Mr. Crawford.